Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. Today I am filming a hat collection video. Um, I've taken, as you can see, most of my hats down. Um, so you can see maybe, yeah, you can see one hanging still there. But I decided, because I had so many hats, um, I decided to only film my designer hat collection. So um, I pulled out all my designer hats and left the non-designer ones up. Although I do have three non-designer hats that I just have to share because I absolutely love them so much and they're made really really amazingly and they're not high street either they're more like premium high street kind of pricing so I wanted to share those as well so actually this time I'm thinking of sharing the collection um by brand instead of by category in terms of like the style of hat I was gonna do like bucket hats and beanies and like berets or whatever but then I was thinking it's just gonna be quite repetitive showing the same style hat continuously just like with a different logo or a different print or something like that so I decided to do brands instead at least each brand has different styles and whatnot so that's easier um, we're gonna start with Stella McCartney these hats are probably like the first hats I bought when I moved to London seven years ago I bought the green one first um, online I can't remember what like website was like you know one of the online luxury retail websites um, I bought this one online and it fits a little bit big but still manageable and then I liked it so much that I got it in a red and I got this one on sale and I got this one also a size smaller so this one fits snug I just really really like the style of these hats they're very smart very clean I also like that the rim of the hat here is really really wide I think usually caps kind of go like that but this one kind of goes right to the side um, yeah, just a really smart and simple looking hat. So, yeah, I actually was going to get rid of the green hat not too long ago or donate it because um, I wasn't wearing it, wearing these hats as much. And if I were going to, I'd pick the red one over the green one. Um, plus, like I said, the green one's a little bit too big, but Conrad tried it on and he's got a bigger head, a much bigger head. Actually, this fits a little snug on him, but it still fits and it looks good on him. So I'm keeping it for him. I've got two very different hats from L'Enfant. The first one is a vintage hat. This one, I, the lighting is not showing the details nicely, but um, it's quite gloomy out. It's supposed to snow, so I really hope it snows. That's why I'm like filming this extra early than I usually do, so then I can like play in the snow after. But anyways, I don't know if it's gonna snow though. This is um, from Lanvin, like I said. I got this off of Vestiaire. It is vintage, or it was marked as vintage, and I obviously got it because I loved this beautiful arrangement here. Um, this detail. I think it like reminds me of like one of the houses at Harry Potter. I think I mentioned that and like when I shared this in a different video. When did I share this? I can't remember. I actually think this hat looks so beautiful on. This detail here is just so beautiful and every time I look at it I really want to wear it but I just haven't been able to pull it out. Um, I just also love the color as well even though I don't usually love wearing dark colors on my hair because my hair is already super dark, but there's just something special about this hat. It's like a really dark blue, like indigo color. Really pretty. And then the other Lanvin hat that I have is totally different. It's kind of like a rain bucket hat, even though it's made of silk, so probably not going to help you in the rain, but just looks like it would be a rain hat. Um, and I love this detail here where it buckle, buckles up under the chin. I love hats that have this detail. I have a few um, that buckles on the chin. And then it's got baba prints on the hat. And I also got the matching t-shirt. If you guys haven't seen the haul where I hauled this, I bought the matching t-shirt to go with it. And I just think it's so freaking cute. Let's do Prada and Miu Miu. Because I feel like Prada and Miu Miu just go together. I'll do Prada first. Um, first I have this kind of like fisherman's hat that I got at Selfridges at their little pop-up. It was like, it is labeled for men's, but obviously it's a hat. Anyone can wear it. Um, I just wish they did loads of colors in this. This would be so much fun in other colors. But black is still a great choice because obviously it would just be super easy to... Gosh, it's getting so dark. Um, it's just easier to style with and work with and just kind of throw on whenever. Um, definitely a hat that I would wear in more like warmer weather so yeah I haven't touched this one in a minute and then again with this one it's also got the buckle bit that hangs underneath the chin 
This one's a little bit misshapen. Um, but yeah, this is my little fisherman's hat. <laughs> Another great detail is that you can button the sides so that it creates a different shape. Again, love hats that do this because it feels like two hats in one because they're two different styles or two different like ways of wearing it. My hair is going to go crazy after this. <laughs> um, next is another nylon hat. This one I've not worn yet. I actually got this at Vista Village not too long ago, right before our lockdown. I got this like um, during our last trip. But because I also bought the same one for a friend, I didn't want to share it in a haul video, so I didn't. Um, but yeah, I also bought this for myself, the same one, but in blue. It just says Prada on the side there. Just a super simple nylon cap. I really do now want like a nylon little bag with that match that matches the hat. I think it'll look really cute together. I love matching accessories. And I have two Baker Boy hats. Um, from Prada. One I bought at Selfridges, this one, and this one I bought at Bister Village. Um, well, same time as this one, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm just really, really gutted because I did see this hat at Bister Village as well, um, like, way later, um, for a fraction of the price that I paid. But anyways, that's fine. I actually wore this hat so much when I first got it several years ago. Really, really loved this hat. I thought it was the coolest hat and I felt so good in this. Um, this pink Baker Boy hat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just haven't, I haven't pulled it out this winter yet. This winter I did wear this like twice so far. This one is definitely <laughs> way more dramatic. It's a little bit, it's like it's more poofy than this one. And of course the color. This one's much more easier to, um, <clears throat> wear but with this one I was thinking about it. I just like I don't think I would have paid full price for this hat just because I think I I would know that I wouldn't wear it very often at all um it would just be for like a couple fun outfits that I can think of um but that's what I love about Bistro Village being able to buy it there for a fraction when I say a fraction you guys know like a fraction of the price when I look for bargains I really like a bargain if it's only a little bit bargained I'm like I would have paid full price if I really liked it so I go for proper bargains how is my hair doing guys I don't have I don't have my contacts in nor do I have my glasses on obviously so it's a little bit blurry so I can't tell if my hair is like looking a hot mess or whatnot also I have a pimple here from this morning, so it's really not doing great. At least trying, trying on taking off hats is really not <laughs> good for it, so committed to this video. <laughs> Anyways, I have two hats from Miu Miu. This one is barely a hat. This is more like a visor, a beach, something to wear to the beach or the pool. I've admittedly only worn this once in Thailand, um, like two years ago. Um, I did plan on bringing it again to like more beach vacations, but I haven't actually been on that many beach vacations since then, mainly because of coronavirus, clearly. So um, that's fine. I'll just keep it until I do go to the beach again. This cap, I'll admit, I don't love anymore. I thought this was like a really like, no, I can't even say it's cool. It's just not cool. It's, it's a pretty okay hat, to be honest. This is probably my least favorite hat in my designer hat collection. Um, I've kept it because it's just a simple black hat cap, sorry, which I don't have a lot of like, you know, simple black wearable caps. I guess maybe that's why I went with this one. Moving on to Louis Vuitton. Again, I've got two from Louis Vuitton. I have one beanie from them, and this is a beanie that I have been wearing a lot last winter. I believe I got this last winter, actually. And then um, I wore it more this winter, I feel like. So this has been my go-to beanie this winter um, so far. And I freaking love it. Such a pretty hat. Love the pattern. I love the side with the flower more. But of course, this side is cute too. Um, again, I'm pretty sure they had two different colorways when I was buying it. Can't remember the other colorway, but I went with black. I know I said I don't love <clears throat> wearing dark hats, but this one obviously has um, loads of really beautiful pattern on there as well as silver thread 
going through it. So it's a nice contrast, I feel like, with my with my hair. <laughs> and then, of course, I have this hat, which is probably one of my favorite purchases from last year. Um, this little bucket rain hat, which I absolutely love. Love the yellow. I love how they have lined the um, monogram around the rim of the hat and just small details. I just really like how this hat was constructed. Really pretty. Although I finally learned my lesson and I don't store it like this anymore. I stored it like this for a while, which misshaped the hat a little bit. So I now um, keep this hat on top of a, a, a soccer ball, basically, <laughs> to keep its shape. Okay, let's move on to Chanel. I have three hats from Chanel and I actually honestly didn't realize that all of my hats from Chanel are beanies. I really need to expand my Chanel hat collection. But um, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the order that I got these in. I got this gray one first. This was actually the first designer beanie that I ever bought and I was like super obsessed. I wore this almost every day. Like I wore it so much. Um, and I wore it for like maybe three three years in a row and then I kind of put this, um, I didn't wear it very much last year or I don't think as much the year before, but this winter I brought it back out, obsessed again, can't stop wearing it. I actually wear beanies a lot. I just like take them off for a photo because it doesn't necessarily always fit the vibe. I just, you know, beanies for me are to keep warm as well, not just for the, um, not for the style. I just genuinely get really, really freaking cold ears all the time. So um, I need to cover my ears up. Of course, of course, love the little CC there. It's like subtle, but not so subtle. And I love how it hangs in the back. This sparkly blue one, um, again, with the subtle, but not so subtle CC <laughs> over there. This one is less baggy. And, and I definitely don't like this one as much as this one. I definitely prefer this one. I think I prefer... Um, when the beanies are a little bit more chunkier, but I did not realize that when I bought this. I wasn't so aware of the right beanies for me. When I tried it on, I guess it looked really good in my outfit, and yeah, I liked it, so I got it, but unfortunately, I don't think I wore this that often compared to... I mean, this one I wore, like I said, every other day. Um, this one is really different. This one does not stretch at all. It, like, is perfect snug fit on your head. So it's like this tweed material, which I think is really cute, and then it's got this little pink CC there. Um, again, I think this is, maybe not everyone will like it. I only like this with certain outfits, and other outfits I'm like, oh, I look really weird. But I've worn this like a handful of times and have really liked it with some outfits, and then just like not as much with other outfits. But love the little pink CC on this, I think it's really cute. And I, I don't own any other beanies in this kind of style, like this really snug fit style that doesn't stretch at all. <laughs> but this is super cute, I just love the multicolor thread going through it. There's like pinks and greens and blues um, and whites. Really, really cute. Gucci time. We have four hats from Gucci and the first one, of course, is the latest addition to my hat collection, this Gucci and Dormon hat or bucket hat. This is the cutest freaking hat. If you guys haven't seen that haul video, I will link it below, but I hauled um, this hat with the matching bag. I've worn it twice since I, since I got it and once to like a couple flat viewings and I got several compliments on it, especially with the matching bag. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below the haul video when I showed the, when I showed these things but um yeah people love these adorable cartoon animes on these hats and stuff I think it's just like a conversation starter is what I'm trying to say I feel like people are like oh my god what's on your hat <laughs> love it and then another bucket hat from Gucci this one's a bit different this has got sequins I love this one this is so beautiful I got this one last year um and I actually walked in looking for a different hat. I think I was looking for like like a teddy kind of um, bucket hat, which they did not have the one I wanted in stock. But then I asked to see what they had and saw this bucket hat and fell in love. 
This is a bucket hat that you can definitely wear during the summertime as well as winter time. So it's a bit more versatile than what I was going for originally, which was the teddy one. Next we have this hat, which I don't know, you can't really consider this a hat because it's like open here. I actually originally thought it would be like a headband, but when you put it on, it fits more like a turban. So maybe it is. Um, I just think it's just so beautiful um, and I absolutely love it and I brought it with me to the beach as well um, to Indonesia several years ago and I definitely will be bringing this again to more beach vacations. Beautiful metallic pink and yellow and this like leaf sequin design on it. Both sides are the same. Gucci does a lot of these in loads of different patterns and prints and I always get sucked into them but I don't need them because I don't wear them that often. They're a little bit too dressy for daily wear, but honestly, they are so stunning. Um, I just always am so tempted when I see them. So pretty. And I actually eventually want to get like a leather version because they've done le leather versions as well. Last Gucci hat. I have is from... Um, Bister Village. I got this in Bister Village. This is I, this is again one that I have shared shared in a recent haul video, um, with the little crisscross of it on the side there. Love the color. That's the main reason I got this. I was choosing between a red hat and then this green hat. And I actually might have preferred the shape of the red one better, but I just couldn't get this color, this green, out of my head. So I went with this one at the risk of repeating myself over and over again because I know I've shared this hat several times recently. Um, I just love the weaving over here. Really, really nice. Last pile is the miscellaneous pile. This is the pile of designer hats. I only have like one of, like one from each brand basically. So um, I have my Dior bucket hat which was really really popular. This is the one with the oblique on the inside. I absolutely love the color that I chose. It's like nude color with a brown oblique. Um, I think this was like the best color that I could have chosen. It's just one of those things where I, like usually I probably would have gone for like the red or the blue, something a little bit more colorful. But I guess I was feeling a little bit more neutral at the time. I got this in south of France um, with when I was when I went to visit a friend and yeah, I just wanted something more neutral and I really, really am glad that I got a more neutral color, especially with the oblique print. Random little Versace Tartan Beret. This was one of those things where I thought it'd be like a staple in my wardrobe because it's like a classic red tartan print. Um, in small dosages, I think it's kind of cute and it's red, so it's not, it's going to be easy to style with. Um, little logo and everything. So I I genuinely thought this would be like a staple. It really isn't a staple. It's not something that I pull very often. I think I've worn it twice. Um, maybe it just doesn't, maybe I just don't love this, this, the shape of it on me or something. Um, I just keep thinking like one day this is going to be cool. I'm going to like it. It's going to like really work with an outfit. I just haven't gotten to that day yet. So I'm waiting. <laughs> we got another turban style hat. This one is from Miss Sony. I got this right before going to, on a beach vacation. I think I got like matches or something. Um, yeah, we were going to Greece, I believe, and I wanted a cute little Missoni outfit for Greece. So I got this and then like some matching pants and I just wore a crop top. Absolutely love the look. Absolutely love Missoni when it comes to beachwear as well. Actually, not too long ago, I saw Missoni at Bister Village and I walked in to have a look and they had some really cute bikinis and I was like, oh my god, cute. It'd be like match the turban with the bikini, that'd be really cute, but um, I kind of was like, when am I going to go to the beach? So kind of left it for then. Another beanie, guys, and actually I lied. The Chanel one was not my first designer beanie that I bought in London. It was this one. This one and then the Chanel one. I got this one. <laughs> this is like the first JW Anderson anything I ever bought, but I got this at a sample sale. A friend of mine at the time invited me to um, a sample sale and <laughs> I got this little beanie. I just thought it was really cute. I don't love snails. Um, in fact, I think they're kind of really gross, but <laughs> this little green one is really cute. So, well, not so little. This big green one is quite cute. And this is what the beanie looks like on. I don't hate this beanie, guys. Although it's just like really random and odd and like, why would you have a snail on your head? But 
<laughs> why not um and then just like jw anderson right across i remember buying um which i still have a really cool black coat um from jw and i really like that was like kind of the item that i wanted to buy and then i saw this beanie on the side and i thought it would look cute to go together <laughs> add some color <clears throat> so that's why i got the beanie um and then i have this fendi hat which was a christmas gift from um, Conrad, he got this for me from Fendi at Bisser Village, and again, this has that equestrian vibe buckle thing there, and I love this teddy cap, it's so cute, and on the plus side, it keeps my ears super warm, which is pretty much the reason why Conrad chose this hat for me, because he knew I would like um, my ears covered up. <laughs> Show you guys this closer, because it's got the Fendi logo on it, which I think is really cute. I don't know, this is genuinely my favorite winter hat. It's so cozy and warm. And I always get compliments when I wear this hat. So really, really happy with this. Last designer hat is this beautiful structured baby pink Miso Michelle wide brim hat. Um, I freaking love this with this beautiful pearl detailing. I mentioned... Um, in my haul video when I hauled this that I thought this would hang under the chin which obviously it doesn't they didn't have like a model wearing this when I saw it it was just like on its own and I just thought this hung underneath the chin anyways it hangs behind your head like this which also is really really pretty especially if you have like a nice like beige coat on and it like you know maybe ties at the back or something really really cute I've just noticed I have to be super careful with this because this catches um, dust and can look a bit dirty quite easily. So I have to be really careful with it so it stays nice and crisp and new looking. I wanted to end the video showing you guys three of my favorite, most favorite um, premium high street kind of pricing um, hats. <laughs> These two are from the same brand. I have already spoken about them before. A Child of Iago. Um, there's a shop in London near Covent Garden and I just randomly came across it one day whilst walking around and saw this hat shop and thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was like Mad Hatter. There was hats everywhere hanging all over the place. It was like a candy shop for me and they do loads and loads of really funky hat shapes and they just do them in different colors same style but different color combinations i think i think that's actually my favorite part about this shop is that they have so many different color combinations to choose from and i like i love having the option because the style i mean obviously the style matters but i can generally get on board with a lot of styles but it's just the color combinations i love something that's a little bit different a little bit like you know outside of my comfort zone even um like this green and this shape like what the heck <laughs> but this is just like really cool to me i love this shape and then i also have this pink one which is really similar it's different styles though this one has like a small hump and then a big hump this one is like same size humps <laughs> and i bought this to wear during london fashion week which i absolutely loved i definitely will be going back to this hat shop to get more whenever um, it opens again, but yeah. Last hat that I wanted to share in this collection video is this amazing, beautiful, chartreuse, faux fur, soft, fluffy amazingness. <laughs> this hat is by a brand called Emma Bruin, and it's handmade in England, and I freaking love this hat. It is so cozy, and again, she does this in loads of other colors. However, I almost didn't want to share this um, hat just because, I don't know, I just didn't feel good as a customer buying it. Long story short, when I first saw this hat, I immediately knew I wanted to wear it for London Fashion Week, which was going to be like in a week's time. Um, I absolutely loved it. So I emailed the brand to see if they had this specific one in stock because I know that they do like made to order most of the time. They don't really like have lots of stock kind of things. So... I mean, that's what I understood at the time. So I um, emailed them to see if they had this specific one in stock. And I got a reply saying, yes, we have one left. And you can definitely get it before the day you want to wear it. Because I told them which day I wanted to wear it. Um, and they were certain. And yeah, it was all settled. So I paid for it. And then I was waiting. Of course, it didn't arrive on time. Needless to say. Um, 
but that's fine these things happen and honestly i wouldn't have even thought twice i'd be like hey things that this happen i'll wear it a different time totally fine but what kind of left me a little bit bitter was that the day before i um the day before i was supposed to i was expecting this to arrive um a another british influencer i don't think she youtubes at least i don't i'm not sure but i follow her on instagram she unboxed this hat this exact hat the exact one that i wanted so at first i was like thinking okay like she's got huge following so maybe she had already planned put this put one aside to give to her um or like maybe she had a couple i don't know she lied to me and, like they actually had a couple and um not just one and she's just saying that there's one for like you know to convince me to get her or something like that i don't know but like the fact that this arrived four days four or five days after i was supposed to receive it i just it a part of me was like wait did she send the one that was supposed to be sent to me to someone else because like I don't, because she's got bigger following and it's fashion week and you want to give it to someone bigger following and doing fashion week kind of thing like it just kind of felt that way to me um, but again, no proof. I don't know. I could be wrong. Another reason, actually, there's one more reason, and this is definitely much more petty, and please don't take this too seriously, but um, another reason was when I did finally receive the hat, I absolutely loved it anyway, and so I brought it with me to Ireland, and I took like 80 billion photos with this. Like, I posted pictures on my story, posted like two posts of this on my Instagram feed. Um, I just like spammed my Instagram with this hat at the time because I was wearing it pretty much like all the like every other day um, whilst we were there. Whether or not they saw the photos or not, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's fine. But um, Kyle um, borrowed my hat and took one photo, just one single photo, and it got reposted immediately, that photo. The brand reposted his photo immediately. Granted, of course, it's Kyle, and he's like has the best style. He looked amazing in the photo. The hat looks awesome on him, and... It's a great photo for sure like i'd repost it too it's just one of those things which just left me a little bit feeling a little bit better bitter from like the sequence of events anyways at the end of the day i just didn't feel valued as a customer that's why i haven't bought in all the colors yet because i would have bought every single color possible that she had I mean, there weren't too many but there was a blue one a yellow one probably a red one probably a black one as well um but yeah We'll see in the future if I feel like it or if there are other brands that do similar things, but really love this one. And like I said, there's no way I can like prove or say anything that like uh, that I was right or wrong, but it's just like the vibe that I got, like a feeling I got, and I just feel like I always go with my gut feeling and just I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my designer hat collection. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite or your least favorite hat from this collection. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't and would like to come and catch up with me again in my next video. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.